In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about using Discord as a beginner on your computer. Now, I've made a video in the past showing you how you can use Discord on your phone, which I'll leave a link to in the description below if you're trying to use Discord on your phone. But if you've just downloaded Discord for the first time on your computer, watch this video because I'll go over beginner features and how you can use it on your computer. Now the first thing to note, you can use Discord in your browser or you can go ahead and download it onto your computer. I would recommend you download it because then you're going to get push notifications even if you're not on the Discord web app itself. So I've got Discord downloaded here and when you've got it downloaded, this is the kind of interface that you'll see. It will first prompt you to go ahead and create an account. I'm not going to cover that in this video because it's it's as simple as entering in an email and a password. Okay, so here is your overview of Discord and how you can use it as a beginner. So Discord at its basic core is a messaging app. It's a communication app which you can use to communicate with friends and just random people online. We can communicate with people by text or by voice and we can do that by joining different servers with different people. So right here on the left are all of my servers that I'm a part of. So you can see we've got different servers and inside these different servers are going to be different people. Now I'm gonna cover how you can create a server and how you can find servers to join based on your interests in a second. But let me just cover the home interface first. So then next in this column here, we've got our direct messages. We've also got what friends we've got added here. So these are all my friends on Discord. You've got your friend requests up here. So if anyone's online, they'll appear here. All of your friends will appear here. You've got your friend requests and you can add friends here by clicking this green button. To add friends, you will click on the button and you would enter in their username and their tag. If you go ahead and ask your friend for that, they will be able to give it to you. It will be in the bottom left hand corner. My tag is currently hidden because I'm in streamer mode, which basically hides it so everyone can't add me. When you first log into Discord though, you will see your user tag next to your username. You would also give this to anyone else if they're trying to add you on Discord. Okay, so now let's cover Discord servers. So Discord servers are a collection of people most likely interested in the same thing. You can join servers or you can create your own server. And if you just want to create your own server to invite your friends to maybe play online games, that can be done really easily. So if you go to this plus icon here, which is add a server, it's gonna give you some options to create a server or, or you can even start from a template. Now, you can use these templates if you want to but if you just want a basic server where you can talk in text with your friends or voice chat, you can just go to create my own server for me and my friends, and you can upload an image here. I'm just going to call this server video, and I'm not going to upload an image, but you can go and upload a, pro uh, a not a profile picture, but an image to the server, and you can then create that server. Okay, so now it welcomes us to the video server, you can see we've now got this server in our list here in the left hand corner. And you'll notice we've got text channels and voice channels. Now inside text channels, we've got general and we've also got a general voice channel. Now in this general text channel, anybody that's inside of the server will be able to speak and the messages will appear here. Same with the voice channel. If somebody was to go to the voice channel, it will connect them to that channel and then everyone that's in that channel will then be able to speak to each other. To leave the voice channel, just click on this button here. Now being in a server by yourself is no fun. So you can go and invite people here. Um, you won't have any friends on your account yet, so you won't be able to invite them. So what you can do, you can go to your the server up here, which will bring down this list and you can go to invite people and we can just go ahead and copy this invite link and that will copy a link to invite people to our server. We can also edit this link and we can get this link to never expire, expire in a certain amount of dates and you can 
give a maximum amount of times that this link can be used. So maybe you only want 10 people joining your server using that link. You can then generate that link, copy it, and I'll just paste it here in the server. This will be the link that you go ahead and send to your friends. When they click on it, they're then gonna be invited to your server. Okay, so now you may have people inside of your server. So I'll cover in a second how you can join other people's servers, but let me just cover how you can add your microphone and get everything set up within your Discord settings. So if you go to your user settings here, and then you go to voice and video, you'll then be given the options here to configure your input and output devices. So on input device, I'm gonna to change to my microphone and you would change to whatever microphone you use for gaming. You can even use like your inbuilt laptop microphone. You can then go to output and choose your output. So I'm gonna choose my speakers and then you can change the input volume and the output volume and also test your microphone. But pretty much that's all you really want to be doing. Maybe you want to change your webcam as well. Um, but for beginners, I wouldn't change anything else than, other than that. Uh, you can then exit out of this and your microphone should be set. So now let's join somebody else's server. So you can either join a server by clicking on an invite link from your friends. So say for example, your friends have a server and they send you an invite link. You can click on that and it will then open Discord and you'll be invited to their server. But if you don't have any friends who have a Discord server, uh, you can go to explore public servers, which is this button down here, and you can go and search for Discord servers around your interest. So say you're interested in Call of Duty, there will be some Call of Duty servers, or maybe you're interested in Twitch, and there are gonna be servers here based around Twitch. So you can go through these servers and join them and these servers will be set up to help people communicate and to help people make friends inside these servers. I'll just join here a random one. We'll just join Twitch Startup and now we are in the server. Now you will notice when you join big servers like this, they're going to have a lot of information. It might be quite messy and they're going to have a lot of different channels. So this might be hard to take in and you might get confused, but generally they'll have an announcement channel and a rules channel. Read them and you'll get a good idea of the server. And then if you scroll down, nearly every server will have a general text channel where you can just say hello and make some friends. Also the people who are on the server here will be shown here in, in the right hand corner and this will be for every server. But after we've previewed the server, we can just go ahead and join it and we can start chatting and start making friends. But that pretty much is the basics of Discord. I don't wanna to go too in advanced into roles and things like that because as a beginner, you just wanna to talk to people, you just wanna find new friends and you just wanna have a good time on Discord without being overwhelmed. But that's pretty much the basics. If that helped you out, please do leave a like and comment down below. If you've got any questions, let me know and I'll try and help you out. Cheers guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.